The hit film user interface is a very convenient kind of uh, setup. You have basically the screen is divided into four different quadrants. The first quadrant is your media panel, which also turns into your effect control panel when you have selected a visual effect to use with your video. The next panel is where you have your effects, text, and history bars. The effects tab has a number of effects listed below, including keying 3D effects, um, explosions, that kind of stuff, lightning, um, a particle generator. Uh, and then you also have the text panel, which has a number of different options that can be adjusted um, for composite shots with text. And then you have your history and undo panel, which um, will bring you back to different parts of your, your video um, like that. So um, in addition, uh, your third quadrant would be your viewer quadrant, which can actually be dragged around if you have a second monitor. Um, you can drag it off to the side there. Uh, you could rearrange stuff however you'd like. Um, that kind of a thing. It shows it in full resolution. It displays your video. Um, you can adjust your render settings there, some different background options, um, your color. And um, you have the hand and pointer selection tool as well to use with your video so you can position it. Um, then you also have your media controls right below the viewer, including play, um, forward frames, backward frames, um, to the beginning of the video. You can set in and out points for rendering. And of course, you can play and stop your video as you wish. And um, the fourth and final quadrant is your editor and timeline. Basically, here we have a video clip in the timeline. Um, and uh, you have your audio and video tracks. You can add a track by right clicking and insert track. It'll insert a track right above it. You could rename that track if you wish. Um, you could say like composite if you're doing like a green screen clip, something like that. Um, and then you can scroll down between your tracks or you can even drag your timeline upwards or to the side to extend it, um, that kind of a thing. You can also add audio tracks by right clicking an existing audio track. And then you can zoom in and zoom out on the timeline with uh, based on your cursor, like relative to the cursor. Um, and you can zoom in or zoom out like that. And um, then if you wanted to add some effects, you can go ahead, you click on your desired video clip on the timeline and click make composite shot. Then you can either use the selected clip or the entire editor sequence. And you can move the effects that you've already added to the clip, such as um, perhaps color correcting, something like that. You can move those or you could just leave them there. So we're going to go ahead and move with the clip. We're going to click on convert. And this will create a composite shot with your video. Um, but then you can go ahead and you can add a 3D plane to add 3D effects. You need to create a 3D camera, which it'll do automatically. And then um, you can move your footage around like that. You can see the 3D kind of thing. Um, you can go under 3D effects and you can add an explosion or some procedural fire, something like that. Um, and there's a lot of really cool things you can do. But uh, the timeline with composite shots, it has you can create a new layer, a new camera, um, a grade, or you could add text or just a marking point, something like that. There's layer properties for your video, um, which show you the audio and video codecs being used. And um, it just expo explains like the duration, the file size, that kind of a thing. And then you have three uh, tools for use on the timeline, actually four. Um, the first one is your selector tool. The second one is the hand tool to move stuff around. And then you also have uh, your slice tool, which will slice the clip into pieces like that if you need to and um, that's definitely a very useful feature using the timeline while using your visual effects. Hopefully this tutorial was a little bit helpful with some of the timeline overviews and uh, kind of explores the interface just a little bit more than our previous overview of the software. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe.